going on everybody? This is Long Lever bringing you a new paracord creation of mine. Um, had a question on here, uh, how to make a paracord grenade. Um, they watched my paracord germ grenade video and they wanted to know how to make one of these. Um, these are actually pretty cool. I'd never heard of them until they asked. And so I filled around with a couple of ideas and this is what I came up with. Um, these are real simple to make, really easy to make. And uh, will literally only take a couple of minutes um, per one. They're they're really simple once we get into it, but I'm going to show you how to make them. So we will start that now. All right. So here's what you're going to need. You're going to need 12 feet of paracord in a single strand, and you're going to need uh, one of these little rings. Um, if you look at the actual uh, grenade, you'll see that I have just a diamond knot on top, which is right here. And that's on here. I did mine pre. Um, I have a tutorial. In fact, there's the link right there. Go check that out on how to do that or just look around. But I think mine's, uh, mine's one of the best on YouTube, I believe. Um, so go check that out on how to do that if you don't know how. And then once you get that done, make sure that the e ends are slightly even. Um, you'll notice on mine, they're almost even. I think I have about an inch. That doesn't really matter. Um, but what you're going to do is get her in focus. Um, these are right around two and three quarter to three inches. Um, I just went off my first one. I just measure it. Um, they're about three inches though, give or take. Um, go ahead, turn it around. And now what you're going to do is you're going to take one of the strands, go underneath, like so. You're going to take the other strand, and you're going to run it through the loop that you just made of that strand. So what you're going to get is you're going to get one of those. See? Then once you get that, you just keep going under in your cobra weave pattern. Pull her tight. Just like that. And you're going to keep doing that all the way down. I gotta hurry up. It's like 11.40 at night on the eve of the end of the world. I'm gonna be in my basement doing YouTube videos when the world ends. Well, at least it'll be close to my guns. But I'm gonna take this off camera real quick and we will come back when it's done. All right, so once you're done at the very end, you're gonna turn it over. And if you've watched my King Cobra link, Here's the link. You'll know exactly how to do one of these. You just basically do the exact same Solomon bar, whatever, double cobra, right over top of your first weave. And the exact same motion. Make sure you pull it tight. And we will come back when that one's done. Now that the second row is done, Flip it over and do a triple cobra weave. I think y'all are understanding where I'm getting at with this, but we'll come back when that one's done. Number three done. Guess what? I'll give you a second to think. Yep, flip it over, keep going. So now that you have four layers, guess what? You're done, just kidding. There's no fifth layer. This is the basic, um, the basic size. Um, that's what 12 feet will make at three inches. I think 10 feet would probably be about two inches and then eight feet would be a one inch, but I think this is just the perfect size to put in your pocket. Um, to, well, it kind of that kind of depends on how many keys you have, but this is like the perfect size for, you know, five or 10 keys, whatever. Um, this last part, then you would just snip it off 
burn it just like in my other videos and this last part is easy um, if you're into paracord or anything like that get a pair of these um, they're hemostats they are literally two dollars on ebay and they make paracording so easy um, what you want to do is find a cord that kind of parallels the edge so like that one or that one and all that you're going to do take your hemostats shove them under make a big enough gap and then you're going to take your d-ring or not your d-ring your ring whatever and you're just going to make it to where it opens up and that way you can see that but and then you're just going to take this and you're just going to slip it through pull out the hemostats twist it on kind of pull a little bit boom paracord grenade um, this one I think is slightly smaller than the other one that's why there's a little bit left over micro yeah but these ones I think I had like an inch left over usually it's about an inch or two this one's just slightly smaller um, but yeah 12 at least maybe well 11 feet of cord in this one um, they look pretty cool I mean they look like grenades uh, one thing I did forget is the loop on the diamond knot usually you have a loop that comes out just pull that flat so you'll just take out all the slack in the loop once you get it made and then you'll just tighten it up like that that's where the loop went but thank you for watching please check out my other paracord videos um, and I'm hoping to start doing more videos on a regular basis like on a set day have something uploaded um, I'm just frantically busy with school and work and never seem to have the time like I'm doing this at midnight. So um, if you have any questions, comments, I love comments. Please leave a comment even if it's something stupid like your cat just threw up on your paracord. Um, I love to hear stuff like that. And I love to talk to people. So thank you for watching and uh, have a good night. Uh oh, and good luck with the whole end of the world thing. Um, I don't think it's going to happen since it's going to probably be in the next few minutes. So have a good night.